That was so good. Give me another round of applause, man. That was a lot of doo-wop. Man, that lady who plays the harmonica, she's outstanding. That's right. She's really good. Fantastic, dear. Let me tell you, man. That's it. Give her a throat lozenge, you ruin her career. It was really good, man. Thank you. No, it did good. Um, man on the clarinet, outstanding, man. We're going to have to interview this guy in a few minutes because i got to find out where he came from and when, he, how soon he can go back. Anyway, thank you. Anyway, our next guest is Gina Lynn Espinosa, founder of Up Latino, and what's that, Get Wise Latinas? Get Wise Latinas. Little round of applause for this young lady. Thanks. I don't want a bunch of angry Latinas mugging me in the parking lot, so I don't know. So tell us a little bit about yourself, dear. Uh, you want to know about me or my business? Well, first both? you and then the business. <laughs> well, Give me the business after. Well, it's kind of a combination of two. I've been a life coach for 16 years. Okay. And, um, and I recently decided to marry my two very favorite things which is personal development and theater and art and, right. and that's how i came up with the up latino thing oh, so okay. it's a motivational speaking tour for latinos by latinos oh very good yeah. round of applause for young lady <laughs> she's stepping up she's stepping up so you're f you're focused on that. i mean well, first of all let me find out okay. where'd you grow up i grew i was born and raised in a little town called calexico Oh, I've heard California. of that, yes. Yeah, it's right on the Mexicali border. Oh, you made it across, huh? Yeah. No, they didn't catch you. Actually, you know, that's actually really a true story. Yeah, I know it is. So How did I know? I was, um, I was adopted at birth from um, a woman who brought me over from Mexicali uh, to have uh, her baby in the Calexico Hospital. And two beautiful people, um, Georgia and Louis Espinosa, well, adopted me three days after I was born. Wow. So, that's yeah. That's fantastic. You know, that right <laughs> so, so yeah. You know, yeah, I won't tell anybody. Okay? You're okay. safe here, okay? No, that's okay. It's just all the people <laughs> worldwide that are watching us, okay? You guys all... <laughs> don't tell them. So then uh, you, what, came up to uh, Southern California? I should, should say further well, north? Well, further north. Well, yeah, after I with, grew up there and went to school and then went away to college. And Where'd you go to college? Uh, I went to San Diego State. Oh, good. Very yeah. good university. Yeah. What'd you major in? Business administration. Business administration? Yeah. And then you started all this trouble. Well, what happened was I ended up in, in corporate America. Mm -hmm. And then in 1997, they sort of got rid of me in corporate America. Or cor they just got rid of you. Cor corporate America sort of didn't fit in with my plan anymore. Oh, okay. I think. So that's, then that's I started, better. yeah, then I started to be, well, it was a good thing. So then I started to do the, my own business, the life coaching, and just helping people um, achieve their dreams. Yeah, I was going to say life coaching. What mm -hmm. is that? I mean, you're telling them to run a marathon. What are we doing? Well, you know how I think one of, the, one of my clients said it best, would you go to the Super Bowl without a coach? Right. So why would you go to the Super Bowl of your life without a coach? So. Well, you know, they, they <laughs> said that to the 49ers, but continue. <laughs> Poor 49ers. I know. <laughs> Next year, guys. So what I can do is if you have a goal, mm -hmm. I can take you – from your beginning of your goal to the end of your goal in 14 weeks, what it would take your, yourself to do two years. 14 weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got to think about that. Mm -hmm. I, let me wrap my mind around that one. Okay. <laughs> like, give me an example. What kind of goal? I mean, we got the cupcake pe couple up there. Mm -hmm. Now, in other words, you could have got her to start her company I in probably could. Weeks. I, 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 it could have got her to start her company. How, I don't know how long it took you to actually do it before you contemplated doing it. It, took, it takes a long time. People to, could take years to actually say, okay, I can actually do this on my own. Where I could have you know, taken her and say, like, okay, what's the goal? So I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah, you know. what's the goal? So in, 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 we're talking about cupcakes. What's the goal? I want to start my own cupcake company. So where do you start? And basically, you have to, you know, you have to start somewhere. Right. So. Well, how about Jacqueline? I mean, would you take 14 weeks to get a guy that burst into flames or... <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's all part of her design and theme of what she did. But yeah, I can help her put that together. Really? What does that look like? I don't know how long it took Jacqueline to, to put it together. How long did it take you, Jacqueline? <coughs> um, one year. Yeah. One year, see? see? She could have done it in 14 weeks. I could have helped her. In four, it's the difference between being accountable to yourself and being accountable to somebody that's else. That's true. No, that's, that's right. very much true. How about, so. how about my little friend, Fantastic? Oh. Nobody can touch that girl. Can't touch <laughs> it. No, 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 no. We, I, she, we're friends, and I know she's she's been she's been working with a coach right now, actually. Really? Yes. Is that she true? Is. Mm. Yes. yes she what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Seriously, you're gonna make a touch up? Yes. <laughs> okay, I wanna make sure. So yes, yeah, she actually is working. Oh, that's with great. How do people get a hold of you? Well, the best way to get a hold of me is via email because mm -hmm. I'm usually on the phone with somebody. Um, it's Gina mm -hmm. at uplatino.com. Wow. So they can't call you, you just basically got to get you on the email. Well, right? the email's the best for me. So where do you operate now? Out of I operate in, out of my loft in downtown L.A. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Whereabouts? It's in the arts district. Oh, okay. Yeah. Artsy fartsy types, huh? Well, that's what I do, too. Oh. That's my other arm. I do produce theater and art events oh, really? in, the, in L.A., yeah. What kind of theater? Um, community theater. I'm on the board of a theater called Casa 0101. It was founded by Josefina Lopez, who oh, okay. wrote Real, Real Women Have Curves. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So... Wow, you just got involved in so many things. You're a renaissance <laughs> lady. There's a round of applause for this lady. She's too busy, man. Man, that is so f fantastic. <laughs> oh, she's watching. You see, I got to be careful. She, you're going to slip up. And then I know, I know. See, that's, a, your that's, sponsorship. that's our sponsorship. I know. <laughs> our sponsor. Uh, fantastic desserts brought to you by <laughs> Chef Kiki Incorporated. <laughs> and it was 70 flavors to serve you. <laughs> they like that, huh? That was a pretty good commercial, huh? I know Yolanda liked this. She's nodding her head. Her little feathers are going crazy. You know, it's really cool. <laughs> well, that, that's great. So basically, okay, you can help people just achieve their goals is mm -hmm. what we're talking about. So let's say, for example, we started the studio last May. How, could you, how would you help us? Well, we would have had a business plan put together. I would have helped you with a, a basic business plan and where you're going. Like, I, I'm assuming that you're going to go after sponsorship at some point. Yes, right? we are. So, yeah. So there yeah, well, you're a gonna, couple of different plans. We're not going to let you go <laughs> because we're going to keep you here. Uh, <laughs> see, that's that's Valerie back there that's streaming us live. Yes. And she's she knows how to you know get you in a headlock, so that's don't try right. to escape. Well, then we're maybe I can you. bring some of my motivational speakers in to do Why a little don't you piece do for that? you. Yes. Yeah, because well, that's the other arm of Up Latino is that we'll do presentations and workshops that are specific to Latinos. Well, why don't you bring them on to a, one of our shows maybe I'll in March? Okay. Would you like to do that? Yeah, we'd love to do okay. that. Okay, would people like to see it? Would you guys like to see that out there? What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Gina, I know the traffic was a bear to get over it here. It was. There were two accidents on the freeway. I know everybody was screaming about it. The poor band, man. They, you know, they came in like one person at a time. <laughs> You know, and then the instruments came later. <laughs> <laughs> they drove themselves here. So, you know, and I'm grateful that all you guys made it. You made it safe and sound. And I hope, you know, seriously, after the show's, you know, done, you guys get home safe. Right. So I thank you once again. Let's, let's hear from this lady. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we're going to throw it away to this fa fantastic band. I almost slipped up. You're right. <laughs> and then we'll be back. I want to interview these gentlemen, find out who they are and where they hail from. Here on Almani Tonight. Okay, take it away. Forget about it. No, I'm stuck. No, I was serious about you bringing some motivation. What's that? I was serious about you bringing some motivation. Oh, yeah, I'll bring them.
I tell you. Let me tell you. Another round of applause. These, these young people are outstanding. They're fantastic. Let me. Young. Young. Thank you. Thank you. There are some young people here, right? Hey, who's this guy who came with you? Oh, it's, it's Robert. He's always standing by. I was thinking he should have bought a ticket. Okay, now this is my favorite time of the show because I get a chance to interview the band. And I'll start with this young lady with this fantastic upright bass. See, I know what it is now, huh? I know, huh? Here we go. So, your name, young lady, and where do you hail from? I'm, my name is Suzanne Burrell, and I have hailed from a lot of different places, but I was born in the Ozarks. The Ozarks. A round of applause. Okay. Not many people will claim that. And I appreciate that. That's You're, right. Yep, yeah, that's right. I you. See, I'm, I'm already in love with this lady already. See, I always wanted to meet somebody from the Ozarks. And this is Fred. Oh, really? Yeah, this is Fred. You know. Does he speak? I think something's in there. I'm not sure. So how long have you been doing this? I mean, it's not saying it's a non-traditional role, but I'll say it. A well, young lady playing an upright bass. I've been playing for about 30 years. 30, yeah, about 30. Started at three, huh? No, well, yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever you say. I floated down the river in this, and, you know, no, really, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a flood. It was a flood, you know. And uh, they were playing da-da-da-da-da. No. Anyway, uh, no, I've been playing. For, I actually started playing oboe. I was an oboe player. And then um, who played drums in the marching band, and then I joined a rock band as a drummer and, and, and picked up the bass. bass. Yeah, and ended up with bass. She ended up with bass. Well, let's have a round of applause for the young lady because you know what? Thank you. She sounds very confused, but she's a nice lady. Okay. That's right. Well, thank you thank for coming you. to the show. Thank I you so tell much you. For having no, us. I love having you guys. They move along. Let me talk to the saxophone because I already talked to the bass. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hope I have enough room. Okay, who's next? Who's the next victim? I mean, next guest. <laughs> Oh, yeah, pick on the Asian brother. You know, that's how it is. I'll tell him, bro. I'm used to it. Don't worry about yeah, it. That's okay, bro. We won't tell anybody. You know, we won't send you back, okay? We already told Gina. We're not turning her in, so we're not turning you in either. So, your name, sir, and where do you hail from? Uh, James. James Liu, L-I-U. That's uh, how I hail from Hacienda Heights. Uh, so, we're neighbors. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, more or less. I mean, <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. He's you know. a happy guy. I like this guy. <laughs> I'm happy when I play. So. Well, that's good. How long have you been playing? Oh, let's see. Uh... Uh, not that long, not as long as her, obviously. But uh, he couldn't take his shoes off because he was going to use his toes, you know. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, did you start or uh, you know with uh, the saxophone, clarinet, woodwind instruments? How did it begin? Well, uh, like all Asian kids, we start with the traditional piano. You know, we are tortured on that thing for ten years before we do anything else. Uh, after- send those cards and letters to uh, James Liu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. You have all the Asian people attack us now. <laughs> And so what, you turn to this as a rebellion? Uh, actually, more like, uh, yeah, believe it or not, just to get popularity. There's a school band. I figure, hey, why not play something that people actually will play with you? And I want a saxophone. The music store said they're out of saxophones, so they gave me this. And I've been stuck with it since. <laughs> oh, poor little fella. Is that a true story? You know what, you should have ended up growing out of the Ozarks. Because then you get all the instruments you want. If we're only that lucky. Yeah. You have to float down a river. That's the way the story goes. It's okay. kind of hard in California, though. You know? <laughs> okay, we got the peanut gallery talking now. So this I'm, I'm dying to talk to this man next. Well, let me tell you, I really a, a joy to have you on. You're a great musician, man. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Right. See, you have to be Asian. You have to bow. I tell you, man, what's going on with you? Let me see. Do I have enough room back there? Okay. Come on. He's afraid. Look, he's afraid. And, Okay, do not try to adjust the TV set. That is the color of his hair. Okay. Okay, sir, your name, and where do you hail from? Evan Hauser, and I hail from Temple City, California. Oh, so you're probably next door to us, too. Yeah. That's good. So that was a long trip for you down the freeway, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Murder. Yeah, I can tell you, man. You're like the oldest guy in the band, huh? No. No, you have to think about it. You know, if you need help, he can count on his fingers. <laughs> it's Chinese, you yeah. That's Uh-oh. insulting, man. Yeah. That's insulting, <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick on him. He's my brother from another mother. Leave him alone. So how long have you been playing trumpet, man? Uh, 17 years. 17 years. Okay. Uh, what, did you start like in uh, what? Let's see, looking at your age? Elementary school. Yeah. See, how do I know? I don't know. Maybe you're psychic. You should be a musician. Yeah. Psychic or psycho? But we'll figure it out later. So was it all trumpet or did you want to play something else, some other uh, you know, brass instrument? Well, originally I wanted to play uh, the saxophone, but my dad had a trumpet, so... I took the trumpet. Oh, really? Your dad, your dad was a musician? or he just? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was a musician. He played pro in a couple of marching bands on the East Coast. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so originally your family's from the East Coast, right? Uh, half of it, yeah. Half of it? Yeah. Well, you left yeah. them over there? Well, no, the other half's from San Diego. 
Okay, it sounds like a weird mix. You know, I don't know. I don't know about that. As long as they didn't end up in Calexico, okay? Because, you know, we're getting people that come over from there, and you never know what they're come, doing here. So, what's the future? Are you going to stay with uh, Cats with Class? Or are you going to move on, start your own band, uh, turn into Doc Severinsen? What, what's going on? <laughs> well, I'm no Doc Severinsen, I can tell you that much. Um, I'm more of a Miles Davis kind of guy. But, <laughs> but um, I'll probably stick with this band and start my own band at the same time. Yeah, they were watching. Why should, why should I conflict, you know? Yeah, well, you know what? You should get it. You know what's a good? Play the instrument that Robert Acevedo plays. He plays the wall. No, so he was <laughs> Thank you. That was a rip shot. Are you insulting my trumpet playing, man? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm insulting my wall. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Let me uh, move on. Hopefully, I'll get enough room here. There we go. Okay, let me get this young man over here. You're going to need you to step on up. This guy, you know what? I swear. When I saw this guy, I thought we were going to a funeral, literally. Okay, your name, sir. Where do you hail from? Hi, my name is Ozzy Perch. I'm from Cambridge, Wisconsin. Cam yeah. Let's round of applause for Cambridge. My guitar's name is Gel Somino. Your guitar, what, you know, really, you guys got to get a life? Seriously, because <laughs> you, you talk to these instruments, <coughs> you name them. as much as we do. Get her married. Okay, listen. She's already married. Is she? Yeah. Well, bless her, bless her heart. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so how long have you been playing, sir? Well, I played for 20 years, 10 years, and I quit for 30, and then I started up about a year ago. Really? You quit for 30? It's a, it's a complicated story. Yeah, I know, and it's only an hour show. Anyway, so <laughs> we'll turn into that later on. But, no, you do a fantastic, fantastic job. Yeah, I, I got Kiki on the set there. So uh, the future, are you going to be doing this or are you going to quit again for another 90 years? I think I'll be playing for a while. I've only been in this band three days. I'm still getting over the shock. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. Okay, so actually the truth is, folks, they don't know each other. They just showed up today. Well, you know what? Thank you for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Give him a round of applause, you know, for... I'm going to step up here. Uh, new and improve. I got to get this young man. This guy reminds me of my uh, science teacher in high school, the mad scientist. Your name, sir. Where do you hail from? Uh, my name is Victor Arno, and I'm originally from Sherman Oaks, California. Let's hear it for Sherman Oaks. You know, that's almost as bad as the Ozarks. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Let me, can we get a shot of his tie? Look at this tie. Look at that. Isn't that isn't that cool? See that? That shows you he has a lot of time on his hands. Okay. <laughs> so how long have you been playing, sir? Uh, about 35 years. 35 years? You didn't quit like uh, for 30 years like somebody I know. No, I did, but I, d I did take a brief pause. Really? A pause. See? Cat. Pause. Get it? Okay. He's good. I'll do my own rim shot. <laughs> so I can... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was good. So uh, you're going to be sticking with the band, too, as well? You guys going to go somewhere, travel to, you know, the ends of the earth together? If we go to the end of the earth, yes. But I plan on sticking with the band, yes. You guys are a great, great band, you know it. You're there, right? You put a lot of music out. Little round of applause, right? They put out a lot of music for a few sincere people. Everybody except for Robert. But you guys are all wonderful, okay? <laughs> Robert's our fearless leader. Boy, you, you need more fear. Okay, here we go. <laughs> all right, all together, individually, or collectively. These are cats with class. Oh, oh, gosh, darn it. I was trying to get away. Come on, Robert. I just tease. I give this guy a round of applause for Robert because, you know. Which camera am I looking at? This the one that's lit up. Okay. Tell us all about yourself, Robert. Uh, Robert Acevedo. Acevedo, as we would say in East L.A. Uh, oh, he's confessed. He's copying to it. Uh, let's see. Grew up in Monterey Park. Uh, was in Redlands for like 20 years. And bet good things have been happening since I moved back back in October. This band has started happening, so. I'm real, yeah, I think I made the right the right move. Yeah. No, you did. You did. Let me tell you, they're a great band. and definitely going to want you guys to come on back. And I'd like to have you guys come back when we have some of the big shots from City Hall down here to check you guys out. Because we do periodically have events here in Almani. And it's always great to have new t up-and-coming talent. You guys are, are fantastic. Yeah, I was. Uh, I, gr I grew up on this music uh, for my parents. My, my mom just turned 82 a couple of weeks ago. That's right. And uh, just think, I grew up on big band music. I was a kid. I saw the... The Glenn Miller story, I was about eight or nine years old, and I said, that's what I want to do. So, I don't know why. Maybe I was reincarnated or something. Who knows? So. And I'm sure she did a vocals instead of the Well, that's true, yeah. See, well, we, we, get, we get hecklers here. You know that? Yeah, we have hecklers. It keeps me on my toes over here. Yeah. Well, that's good. Cool. You keep doing it, man. Don't let up. Because otherwise, we're going to start call, We're going to start calling him Red after a while, I think. Red okay, where did we meet? <laughs> where did we meet? 
We are byproducts of Craigslist. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Which just goes to show you, man. Well, no, actually, you know what? I think I ran into James at uh, All You Can Eat um, yeah. Yeah. Chinese Buffet, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Send those cards and letters to Robert Acevedo. I tell you, this guy crazy, you know. They go on Craigslist looking for a used car, and look what happens. <laughs> this is so cool, man. So, what's the future? What's the future hold for you guys? The future is wide open. We'll just, uh, I mean, this is. It gets better and better every week, so you know we'll just go wherever the wherever the music takes us. You mean no CD coming up? CD coming up shortly. Right? How did I know? We also got on. You got to get on the microphone, sir. All right. We're actually on Facebook. Just real quick, quick plug. We're called the Facebook.com Cast with Class Swing Band. One word. Check us out. I, I want to see him say that five times fast. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Let me wipe no, the microphone first. <laughs> no, YouTube no. Video. Yes, actually, uh, YouTube videos. Yeah, you know, or, or, you know. Actually, I'm going to go along your vein here with the <laughs> with the ethnicities here. And actually, I killed two birds with one stone with James. He's a great player. He's a great uh, business guy too. So. Oh my yeah, goodness. Gosh. No, he's a one. Let's round of applause for James, man. You know, he's awesome. Come on. No, you know, you guys, like I said, fantastic group. Because that's the way we sit around here. I'm just, I'm happy that I met all these folks. As you can tell, we haven't known each other that long. It's just, you know, the secret's out, I guess. But yeah, Daniel talks about that. But you know what? They've all been playing. We've all been playing for a long time. We finally hooked up. So it was meant to be. So we're well, having a good no, time. Let me tell you, I had, a, I had a real good band called The Wise Guys at my old TV show in East L.A. You know, what? Is he up again? You know what? Prozac, buddy. Prozac. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but, you know, we had a man, and those guys took off. And let me tell you, you can't even book them nowadays. And I know you guys are going to be doing the same thing because people love that kind of music. Don't you guys think? What do you think? I want to, yeah, I, I actually dedicate my music to my dad, uh, Edward. He uh, was an old Garfield graduate, 1950. Well, that's it. I'm gone, dude. <laughs> I went to Roosevelt. I'm gone. You know, that's it. No. no. I, uh, seriously, my dad uh, My dad passed away last March. Oh, bless his uh, But he made some of my shows. I got kind of a late start. I've been doing this for about five years off and on, but more so with these folks in the last couple of months. So I dedicate my music to my parents, you know, because they raised me on it. And I think I liked it anyway. But, uh, yeah, my dad was, for, I was fortunate that he made some of my shows, and he really enjoyed it. So I know he's here in spirit. So. No, he is here, and so is my parents. Because let me tell you, we grew up, we grew up with that. Uh, my folks, my mom and dad, both ended up, uh, you know, well, they're to their reward. But they love that. They danced this at the ballrooms downtown back in the days, right? So you know, I know how it feels. You know, well, how can people get a hold of you, quick? Uh, we they can look us up on gig. Uh, we have some cards out there. Uh, I don't want to screw up here. I want to let James just face. I bet there's I bet there's a phone number somewhere. Oh yeah, phone number. Yeah, my direct line here six two six six eight eight zero two seven eight for all gigs. Uh, uh, Facebook. Also, yeah, I yeah. Wrote it on the bathroom wall too, in case anybody needs it. <laughs> you want to get a hold, Robert? Check the bathroom walls. Yeah. You sure you're the only one that came from the Ozarks? <laughs> well, we have outhouses in the Ozarks. Oh. I know. One more time, one more time. <laughs> All right, awesome. Best place to get a hold is uh, Facebook. The link is Cats with Class Swing Band. One word Cats with Class Swing Band. All right, well, let's have a round of applause, man. They're a great group. I got to get back here because it's almost time for us to wind it up. And I brought Chef Kiki, our sponsor. Hi, Chef Kiki. Hello. How you doing? How do people get a hold of Flantastic Desserts? Book or Flantastic, mm -hmm. or my website, which is www.flantasticdesserts.com. Okay, well, let's hear it for Chef Kiki because <laughs> having Chef Kiki is like having Valentine's <laughs> Day every day of the year, and we love her dearly, man. And we want you to keep coming on back and helping us because she's going to be hosting, co hosting the show, a uh, woman's talk show that we're doing here on the channel that'll be coming up. We have a, a couple of the young ladies that are going to be working with it. So stay tuned yep. to your beautiful Time Warner station. This is El Monte tonight, Arturo Esparza. And we want to close it on off. I want to tell you once again, please do not drink and drive because we want you back again when it is Wednesday night, El Monte tonight. I want to thank all the people who are streaming live. I want to thank all you people out there around the world watching us and the people who see us on YouTube later on tonight. Stay tuned. We've got some good things coming here in beautiful El Monte. I want to thank the city council, the mayor, and all the good people that work here at City Hall East and West. And beautiful Almonte, California, all the people here. We love y'all. So take care. Till we see you next week, say goodbye, Kiki. Good night. Good night from myself and Kiki here on Almonte tonight. Take it away. Cats with class here. Oh, you, you know
Every time it rains, it rains, candies from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains candies from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Be sure that your umbrella is upside down. Trade them for a package of sunshine and flowers. If you want the things you love, you must have showers. So when you hear it thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be candies from heaven for you and 